when I was reading the tweets. And so, let me just start. So, when I read the tweets, it pretty much was about um, Tay Diggs. He's an actor, a black actor. Um, he's been in movies like, oh, what's the movie? Um, what is that damn movie? He's... Oh, uh, I forgot the name of the freaking movies that he's been in. Uh, something Malibu. Have you seen that one? Where he's trying to scare the black out of a white kid. And then there's another movie that he's in. It's like an old school movie. And they remade it because they made a new version of it. What is the name of that damn movie? I don't remember the name of it. If When I remember the name of it, I just put it someplace over here so you guys can see it. So pretty much what they were, what everybody was saying on Twitter was that um, Tay Diggs is ashamed of his child being black and that he wants his kids, his child, who's half white, half black, to just embrace that, the fact that he's mixed and not necessarily that he's black. So with that being said, I'm fully aware that people on Twitter like twist stuff and People don't necessarily read the full article verbatim and that's the irritating part about being on Twitter because there's a lot of ignorant people on Twitter and they just assume the worst when it's really not the worst. It's just people, you know, expressing their opinions and how they feel about something which he has every right to and it wasn't like he was bashing black people as a whole and I took upon myself to read an article from, what is this article from? So pretty much, I guess somebody asked him about race and he just said that honestly, he doesn't want his six-year-old son to be to feel forced to choose that he's black or white because Tay's son is mixed. So that's pretty much what it boils down to. So pretty much what he said um, is that, and it's, and it's really true and I can relate to this because I'm light-skinned and I know um, what it feels like, but like... What it is in America, it's like, okay, if you're black, like you, if you're just a piece of black, you have to automatically just claim black and that's it. And for him is that, and if you, I mean, if you guys, people that are light-skinned, and not even that you're light-skinned, people that are mixed, because there's people that are mixed and they're not even light-skinned, but people that are half, like, half white, half black, like, you know, like you are black, but you also, you want to claim your white side, right? That I mean, that just makes sense to me. For him, it was like, okay, yes, my son is half black, but I don't want him to deny his mother because his mother is white and he looks like he's just black and he doesn't look like he has a white mother. So that's really what it is. And honestly, I mean, I'm not saying, and it's not like he's saying he doesn't want his child to identify as being black. He's not saying that. He wants his child to identify as being mixed because he's not only half black, he's half white. So, I mean, it just comes into play with identifying with both cultures like okay I am I am half white and I am half black you know like it's not necessarily only identifying with one culture and that's really really what it boils down to um the thing that's forced that's unfortunate is the fact that black people like they take stuff like we like to take stuff and just twist it and make it seem like it's really bad and it wasn't even like he was trying to downplay black people and it's not that he was trying to say he doesn't want his child to identify being black is that he doesn't want his child to disown his mother because his mother is white not to claim his mother because his mother is white and I feel like if you are mixed, if your mom is, if you're black and your mom is Korean, you shouldn't only identify as being black. You know, you want to identify as being Korean. If you're black and your mom is white, you know, claim your mom is white. You know, you want to identify with her culture as well. And that's what it comes down to. Um, I mean, there was people on Twitter saying like, oh, yeah, he's a coon. Like, um, what's the name, like Raven Simone, and what he said compared to what Raven, what Raven Simone has been saying is not comparable. Raven Simone was saying, was looking like a damn cockatoo with crazy color hair and a freaking mohawk and saying that she wouldn't hire somebody because of their name, if they had a ghetto name. When the simple fact is, fact is that I could care less what somebody's name looked like. It's the fact that if Raven Simone came and applied at my workplace and I did an interview with her and she had a crazy hair and a crazy mohawk, I would probably more, more likely hire the person that had the ghetto name versus the person with the crazy hair simply because the hairstyle that she had going on is not something that represents the people that I work for and that's just me but going back to what's on topic like I Tay Diggs was not 
trying to downplay black people or saying that he doesn't want his child to identify as being black is that he doesn't want his child to disown his his white side because he's half black. He wants his child to acknowledge that he is mixed and that he he's different. It's another culture, not only black culture. So yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. Um, more so get your guys' input and in what you guys feel about, about that. Do you guys feel like um, because his child is mixed that it's okay to refer as mixed or you feel like he just should only refer to being black. The kid is, I mean, if you're mixed, you're mixed. I mean, that's understandable. Um, it's just, it's just weird with today's society. People feel like because you're part black, because you're part black, you should only identify as being black and you shouldn't, um, know about any culture besides being black. And that's, that's weird. Like, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you're mixed, you should acknowledge your culture, you know? But yeah, just tell me what your guys' input is. Um, I really want to hear what you guys think about it. Um, yeah, so just link your comments below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like videos like these, please let me know. I will start doing more videos like these. And yeah, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, brownbeauty808. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.